good morning guys i'm gonna miss going back to work and being able to record videos whenever i want so i am fixing to make whip it's something my really good friend lisa introduced me to she is from the uk and they drink this in their coffee and tea so what i use is heavy whipping cream a couple packets of sugar and i'm really thinking about trying honey today instead of um i do have honey or yes i do right there so I do have some local honey. Um, I do have some local honey that I got at the farmer's market. So I'm really thinking about trying honey today instead of sugar. Yeah. Oh goodness, can't get the lid off. Let me see if I can get the lid off. This stuff is super, super simple to make. I don't know what I hit it on. And you'll also need a stick blender. A stick blender. And I know mine looks rusty. It's because I washed it the wrong way. This part up here isn't sealed. It's clean. This part is sealed right down here. This is completely sealed. So, I know. It looks it looks bad. Just, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. So, when we're going to use our honey, you never want to use... You never, ever, ever want to use a metal spoon with your honey, ever. Um, it, the honey, it causes some kind of reaction with the honey and it, it transmutes all of those fabulous quality, qualities that honey has. It, you get none of the benefit. So I have this little wooden paddle that my husband made me. So I think I'm gonna use this. So all you do, is you pour some heavy whipping cream into your bowl. We'll go with that. Hopefully, I'm not going to sling this everywhere. That's going to be the key. And we, I'm not measuring, as you see, anything. That's probably way too much, honey. That is probably way too much. And you know what? We can lick it, too. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love honey. I do. I love honey. Okay, so just put your Marsha blender down in there, and you just whip it around. Yeah, this bowl, it's not slinging it everywhere. If I didn't have my hand on there, it would actually be making a mess. And you just keep mixing it around. And you can go up high, too. Whoop, I did sling it that time. with butter, okay? I like mine kind of stiff, just that point where it's not quite butter. It doesn't really take that long. But I love this in my coffee. And it's so much better for you than commercial prepared creamers. So much better for you. And I think we are almost to that point that I'm looking for. And you'll come up, if any of you have ever done a high protein diet and you've uh, had the bulletproof coffee, this is kind of similar to bulletproof coffee. There we go. There we go. Twist that off. And we want to save all of this yummy, scrumptious goodness that we can. And I probably, and then you could fold in. Let's taste it. Oh my God. That is to die for. With the honey in it, you have the sweetness of the honey. You can even taste a little bit of the honey. You can a little bit. You can taste the honey. Not just a little bit, but you can taste it. Folks, that's to die for. Mm. 
that is going to be so good in my coffee. I've been out for a few days, so I had to share this recipe with you how I make what is called whip, which is just creamer for your coffee. And like, and it was new. I was trying honey today rather than sugar. The only thing is, is I had to beat it with the metal. These are metal in there, so I may have lost some of the properties of the honey. Mm. I didn't think about that. I could have used a um, a plastic whip. I have plastic whips. So anyway, just sharing this with you this morning. Y'all have a wonderful day today. I'm going to lick, I could lick this. I really could. Y'all have a wonderful day today and I will see you later.